All right, well, let's get rolling. Time to go to work. Now, normally, I don't, I don't normally ride this bike on the road. Um, and especially today, because today, as you can see, the roads are a tiny bit wet. Got some puddles here and there. And what that means is uh, it's been raining all day. So I don't normally drive this thing when the roads are wet. It's knobby tires and punchy throttle make it, well, just dangerous to be honest. This bike is dangerous on wet roads. Don't ask me how I know. I found out the hard way once or twice. <clears throat> While it's great in acceleration in the dirt, it's crap. The knobby tires and the light body make it absolutely crap on wet roads. Oh, hello, Mr. Ducati. He gave me a respectful blast on his pipes. Very nice of him. No, I can't go. I can't go. Let's hit it. Okay, I'm just gonna say, if you should ever, if you should ever ride in the rain, a couple of things you should do. Number one, don't get a bike like this for the rain. This thing is dangerous, uh, like I said. So yeah, and don't use knobby tires like this bike because it gives you almost no traction whatsoever. So basically, don't do exactly what I'm doing here. But um, that's the first thing. Second thing is, make sure you bring like a backpack or a saddlebag or some sort of way <coughs> of carrying a rain suit. Excuse me. Uh, bring a full rain suit complete with the top and the bottom, the pants and the jacket. Because uh, a poncho is just not going to work. The poncho is just not substantial enough. You'll get soaked. In fact, I recommend you get two sets of, of a rain suit. So not just one rain suit, but two. That's what I do. Because each rain suit only costs about 20 bucks or less. I think let's just say 20 bucks. Uh, and, the un and the overshoes are like, you know, four. Okay, so $24 for a full head-to-toe rain suit. You have two of those, and they're all looking back at me. That's kind of the point of a lot of pipe like this, isn't it? Vanity pipe. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Um, you, you have two of those, so when you use your first one and it, it rains all day long, you use it and it gets kind of wet. Hang it up in your bathroom on some coat hangers. And then you'll have the next one. Put the next one in your backpack right away. That way you will always have <coughs> at least one full rain suit ready to roll. And then when you use your second rain suit, you hang that one up in the bathroom, and your first rain suit will have dried off. I've got at least, well, bits and pieces of more than two rain suits and uh, rain boots or overshoes. And I can just roll them all up, the whole set, put it in my backpack, and carry it wherever I go. And when the rain starts, because it'll just start like that, the way the tropics works. 
then you can just stop, pull over, throw on your rain suit, and you're good. The third thing is going to be um, drive slowly. Make sure people can see you. I have these nice, stylish, hideous actually, yellow gloves. And they are quite ugly. And they're not cool looking. But they have yellow and a reflector strip. So day or night, if I stick my hands out and signal, people can see me very well. And that's really important to be able to be seen. If I'm coming up in front, uh, a guy's coming from across the street, I can just kind of put my hand out and give it a wave and he'll see it because the light will reflect off the gloves. So either that or a you know, bright yellow jacket or a bright colored helmet or put reflectors on your helmet. I got reflector tape on my helmet on the back. And <clears throat> yes, it does look a bit, well, dorky, I suppose, but I'd rather look a little bit dorky and not get in the crash than look cool and all, you know, mysterious and hard to see and then end up laying on the road somewhere and waking up with people, you know, standing around wondering if I'm going to survive. So I strongly recommend you get some bright colors so people will see you. Also, turn your light on. Nobody turns their light on in this country uh, in the rain. They don't do it because they think they're saving gasoline. I'm, I kid you not. Uh, and uh, people don't understand that the reason we have lights on the bike is not so that we can see when we drive. It's so others can see us. But that, that concept is very foreign here. No one has figured that out yet. This guy, no lights. And in fact, people will leave their lights off. People will leave their lights off even at nighttime uh, because they just can't be bothered to turn it on. They figured, ah, street lights. I can see with the street lights. Why do I need a headlight? Like this guy. You can see the car very well. You cannot see the bike very well at all. So, yeah, keep your lights on. Have kind of bright colors so people can see you in the rain. And another thing, of course, is drive slow. Um, Use both of your brakes. Don't overdo the front brake or you'll drop the bike instantly. Um, <coughs> drive slow uh, and slow down slowly and speed up slowly. Accelerate, decelerate slowly <coughs> because um, you know you have less traction. And uh, it's obvious, but sometimes when we get rolling, we feel like, oh, I can do this. Yes, you can. You're not sliding until you tap your brakes a little bit or until you hit uh, a, a, a wetter patch of deeper water in your hydroplane which i have done on this very bike actually so um yeah you 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 want to go slower than you think you need to go and another thing is do not hit your brakes on pieces of steel like those sheets of steel manhole covers uh sometimes there'll be sheets of steel in the road to cover up a pothole or something if you do any turning action, or if you do any braking or accelerating action on that piece of steel in the slightest amount, you're going to immediately lose traction and it's gonna be like ice. Yeah, there's our security guard. And here we go. Uh, yes, I stood up all the way, sweet. This is a highly inappropriate bike to be bringing to work, but I needed to run it a little bit because if I leave it for more than a week or so, the battery begins to die. So I just took it for like a mile or two run. So <clears throat> I will try to get some more footage of me actually riding in the rain, but I'm just a little reluctant because my GoPro 9, I've been told it's waterproof, but I just, I have this thing about the electrical devices that say they're waterproof, they have this nasty habit, for me at least, in my luck, of not being waterproof. So anyways, thanks for listening, and we'll try to do some more riding in the rain, in real rain this time, not just after the rain. Remember, pay attention out there, because you know what I say, no one else is.